guys! It's me again, Kai. Welcome to my channel. At ngayong araw nga ito na guys, dito sa video na ito, mag-share ako sa inyo ng mga informations ng mga ESL companies dito sa Pilipinas na pwede nating applyan. Alright, so ngayon guys, isushare ko sa inyo syempre yung una-una yung name ng company. Syempre, kailangan natin yan para malaman natin kung saan tayo mag-apply. And then yung nationality of their students, kung sila ba ay Chinese, Japanese, or Spanish, or Vietnamese. And also, yung ano nila, yung system, kung booking system ba sila. Yes, guys, meron na akong kodigo dito para hindi ako maligaw. And then, yun nga, yung format ng lesson nila, kung ito ba yung audio or video, tapos yung required work schedule nila, tapos yung sahod, yes, yan ang pinaka-importante, guys, yung sahod, tsaka yung mode of payment nila. And nga pala, guys, meron ako ditong... 10 companies na hindi nagre-required ng work experience. At meron din ako ditong list of companies, 7 sila, na nagre-required ng work experience para makapag-apply at makwalify ka sa kanila. So, yun nga. Dahil nga sa mga yun, kaya ako ginawa yung video na ito para maibahagi ko sa inyo guys yung mga information na ito guys at para maging mas madali sa ating mga gustong mag-apply sa mga company na ito. Hindi na tayo mahirapan na mag-search. So, bibigyan ko kayo ng mga idea. Okay? And guys, disclaimer, bago tayo mag-start. So, disclaimer. Kailangan natin ito dahil nga po magsasabi ako ng mga information tungkol sa mga kumpanya na ito. And also, thank you nga pala dun sa source ko kung saan ko nakuha yung mga information na ito. Wala siyang nakalagay na owner or yung pangalan niya dun sa post. Pero maraming maraming salamat pa. Thank you. And also guys, ginagawa ko lang itong video na ito para makapag-share sa inyo ng mga ideas. So, feel ko na sabi ko na yung kanina, inulit ko lang guys. So, sorry na agad. <laughs> Alright, so tapos yun nga guys. Uh, hindi ako magsasabi ng mga kahit anong negative comment or feedback sa mga company na ito, guys. Kasi nga, bawal yon It's a no, no, no kung ayaw nating makik. Okay? And then, guys, um, kung may nabago man or hindi ako nasabi tungkol sa mga company na ito, please, 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 please comment down below para po pareho tayong ma-inform at para mas malaman pa natin yung tungkol sa mga company na ito. Dahil nga guys, yung nakuha ko dito sa aking source ay noong pang 2017. So, yun nga po. So, kung meron nga po mga nabago na, please do not bash me. It's a no, no, no. Huwag <laughs> po tayong mag-bash. Bagkus ay magtulungan po tayo guys. Okay? So, yun na nga. Let's begin. Ang una dito sa aking listahan guys, wait lang, meron akong another kodigo. Ang una sa aking listahan dito ay ang Bibo Global Opportunity. So, ang nationality ng kanilang mga students ay second language from all over the world. So, means to say all nationality siya. Basta interesado kang mag-enroll sa school nila, po pwede. And then, booking system. Tapos, video call yung lessons nila. Tapos, yung required work schedule nila is 24 hours or 7 days a week. So, I think anytime naman na pwede kang mag-open ng slots doon. Doon sa, ano na yun, 24 hours. Within that 24 hours. And then, yung rate nila is 90 pesos per hour up to 120 pesos per hour. And then, yung frequency and mode of payment nila is twice a month via BPI with the 10% deductions for tax. Okay? And then, rare job. Japanese yung students nila, booking system, audio and video call lessons, and then yung required work schedules nila, yung peak hours nila. Pero hindi kasi guys nakasulat dito yung peak hours nila, pero ang alam ko ano, evening yung schedule nila doon, yung peak hours nila. And then yung rate nila, 100 pesos per hour. And then yung mode of payment is via BPI or PNB. And then, once a month with 10% tax deductions. And then, pangatlo, yung ACAD SOC. Dito sa ACAD SOC, Chinese yung mga students nila. Booking system, tapos video call. Tapos, yung required work schedule nila is from 7pm to 11pm. 
At ang maganda dito guys, yung unreserved slots are paid. So meaning to say, kahit nag-open ka lang ng slots mo, kahit wala kang estudyante, paid ka. Oh, di ba? Pak. Alright, tapos yung rate nila, 100 pesos per hour up to 140 pesos per hour. And then, twice a month via PayPal naman yung kanilang sahod. Okay. And then, next is 5-1 Talk, Chinese Students, and then Booking System, Video Lessons, and then yung Required Schedule, must open 65 slots per cut-off during peak hours. So, yung peak hours nila is 7 p.m. up to 11 p.m. for weekdays. Tapos yung weekends nila, guys, from 9 a.m. up to 11 p.m. Okay? And then yung rate nila is 100 pesos per hour up to 140 pesos per hour. And then twice a month via BPI yung sahoran nila. And then, ABC 360. Chinese students, booking system, audio and video yung lessons nila. Tapos, required to open 9 slots a day within 6 a.m. up to 12 midnight. And then, yung rate nila is 105 pesos per hour up to 200 pesos per hour. And then, twice a month via PPI yung payment nila. And then, next is Action Language Online. Taiwanese, regular schedule, and then audio lang, 7 p.m. to 12 midnight, yung preferable work schedule, and then 130 pesos per hour up to 150 pesos per hour yung rate, and then twice a month via BPI or Metro Bank, yung frequency and mode of payment nila. And then next is I Speak Better. Europeans yung mga estudyante nila, booking system, and then video class, 10 o'clock p.m. to 3 o'clock a.m. yung schedule nila. And then yung rate nila is 140 pesos per hour, twice a month via any bank. Oh, kahit anong bank pala siya guys, pwede. Tapos, next is speaker or speaker. Anyway, yun. Kasi double I siya guys. So, yun, Chinese students, regular schedule, tapos, audio lessons, 7 o'clock p.m. up to 11 o'clock p.m. yung required work schedule nila. Tapos, yung ano nila dito, guys, hindi siya pesos. Ano siya, yung rate nila is 10 RMB per 20 minutes up to 12 RMB per 20 minutes. Okay, so 20 minutes yung klase nila. Tapos, yung frequency and mode of payment is twice a month with 5% tax deduction via BPI. And then next is Anhook. So, yung mga students nila is Japanese and Taiwanese. Booking system sila. And then yung lessons nila is video call. Wala sila guys nakasulat ng required work schedule dito. And then, yung rate nila is 100 pesos per hour. And wala din sila, unfortunately. Wala din silang nakasula dun sa frequency or mode of payment nila. And then the last one, guys, para sa mga company na hindi nangangailangan ng experience, is yung Palfish. Chinese students, tapos yung work schedule nila, go online and wait for calls using your smartphone. So, yun naman pala guys, hindi siya booking system, pero mag-aantay ka lang ng tatawag sa'yo yung estudyante. Basta mag-online ka lang using your smartphone. Okay. And then, video. Video call lessons. Pero guys, wala siyang nakasulat dun sa preferable work schedule niya. Wala siya. And then, you may set your own rate. So, yung kagandahan dun guys, Yung sa rate nila, ikaw yung pipili kung magkano yung gusto mong rate. And then, yung mode of payment nila is PayPal. Alright guys, so yun yung mga companies na hindi nangangailangan ng experience. And then guys, ngayon, 
Punta naman tayo sa mga companies na nangangailangan ng experience. So, seven ito, guys. Number one, in Sky, Korean yung students nila, and then booking system, video lessons, and then yung work schedule nila is from 5 p.m. to 11 o'clock in the evening. And then yung rate, 166 pesos per hour or for 50 minutes. 50 minutes pala siya, sorry. And yun nga, once a month through BDO naman yung ano nila, payment. And then next is BizMate, Japanese Students, Booking System, Audio and Video Class. Tapos yung time nila is from 4 o'clock in the morning up to 7 o'clock in the morning. And 8 o'clock in the evening up to 12 o'clock in the midnight. So I think ano lang siya, part time. And then, yung isa... Oh, hindi. Hindi pala siya part-time. Pwede siya sa mga part-timers. <laughs> Alright. And then, yung rate nila is 140 pesos per 50 minutes up to 220 pesos per 50 minutes. So, 50 minutes each class. And then, yung payment nila is twice a month with 10% tax deduction via BPI. And then next guys is VIP Talk, Chinese students, go online and wait for calls using your smartphone. So katulad lang siya guys ng Palfish. Gagamitin mo yung smartphone mo and mag online ka lang guys at antayin mo lang na may tumawag na estudyante sa'yo. And then audio and video lessons. Tapos yung preferable work schedule niya is evening and weekends. Tapos, yung rate nila is 2.45 pesos per minute or 147 pesos per hour up to 3.5 pesos per minute or 210 pesos per hour. And then, yung payment nila is twice a month via PayPal. And then, next, classing, classing else. European students, regular schedule, tapos audio lang siya guys. Audio lessons, tapos yung preferable work schedule nila, slots open from 9 o'clock a.m. to 5 o'clock a.m. have higher rates. So, I think yun yung peak hours nila. And then, tapos yung rates nila is 130 pesos per hour up to 150 pesos per hour. So, twice a month via BPI. And then, next is tutoring. Koreans yung student nila. And then, yung ano nila. Go available and wait for calls. So, yun yung ano nila. Ojo. Ojo lang siya, guys. Ojo lessons. And then, yung preferable work schedule nila. Can go online within 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. Tapos, $4 per hour, 3 times a month via PayPal. Alright. And then next is Jason English. Chinese yung mga students. Booking system. Audio lessons. And then yung preferable work schedule is 6 p.m. up to 11 p.m. Yung rate nila is 110 pesos per hour. Up to 140 pesos per hour. Twice a month via BDO. And then the last one guys is English Tone. Chinese yung students nila. Booking system. Audio class. 6 o'clock p.m. up to 11 o'clock p.m. Tapos 150 pesos per hour. Up to 170 pesos per hour. And then, twice a month via BDO. And also, guys, meron din pala akong idadagdag. Wala siya dito sa aking, ano, sa aking source. Kasi nga, 2017 pa yon, So, hindi, hindi pa siya covered. So, yung idadagdag ko, guys, na company is yung Qtalk. Tapos, yung mga students niya is Chinese. Tapos, booking system sila. Audio class lang sila, guys. And then, yung mode of payment nila, or yung rate nila is 100 pesos per hour. Pero hindi ko pa siya, guys, na ano, natanong, or 
hindi ko pa na-investigate kung ano yung mode of payment nila at saka yung ano nila, yung time. Preferable work schedule nila, guys. Pero I think, ano, meron din siyang peak hours kasi Chinese nga din yung mga ano nila, yung mga students nila. Pero i-confirm ko pa yan, guys. So, kung gusto nyo malaman, guys, abangan nyo yung susunod ko na video tungkol sa Utok, guys. Kasi, ano, nakaka-ano siya, anong tawag dito? Nakaka... Basta nakaka-excite siya na malaman. Yun nga. So, isishare ko siya ulit sa inyo, guys, uh, if ever, sa susunod ko na video. Gagawa ulit ako ng video tungkol dito. And also, guys, yun na nga po yung mga 17 plus 1 ESL companies na pwede nating applyan dito sa Pilipinas. And if ever na meron pa kayong iba na masasuggest, please comment down below, guys. And kung meron mang akong mali na nasabi tungkol sa company na ito, mag-comment lang kayo, guys. And yun nga, magtulungan po tayo, guys. No, 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 no to bash. And then, yun nga, guys. Please click the subscribe button and the ring, ring bell there. Alright. So that you will be updated to my videos. Alright guys, thank you so much. Bye-bye! See you in my next video. This is Kai again. Bye!